Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family, Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Feast. Feast with us daily on this altar. First thing as you wake up before doing any other thing. Make it a family altar. If you have your family around with you there or personal, whatever. Let's make God first in our lives daily. Welcome also to Saturday, the 16th day in November 2024. As usual, open your hand and heart to receive what God has sent our way today. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. God Almighty is with you. His presence will not depart from you and your habitation. I see a bright light from heaven shining directly on you. So I say to everyone listening to me today, you will shine brighter and brighter. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 is what God gave me for you. It says the part of the jaws is as the shining light that shineth more and more to the perfect day. That light of God on you will shield you away from every form of calamity. It will brighten your life's journey so you never walk in the dark. Good and pleasant things shall be attracted to your life. Someone listening to me now is struggling. You have struggled and you are still struggling with so many things. Could be financially, health-wise, in your marriage, your place of work, to feed, to take care of your responsibility. is a struggle. Thus says the Lord, I am putting an end to your struggles. My work on your case is almost done. You are about to step out of struggle into a new phase of life. Then who is this? You are afraid. I see fear written and pasted on you in the spirit. Yes, you are afraid. Fear of death, fear of failure, fear of that something might go wrong, fear of danger, fear, fear. I see fear written on you. If this describes you, lay your hand on your chest, your two hands, and say this after me. Say it to your ears to hear. Say, I reject fear. You foul spirit of fear, leave my heart, leave my mind, and leave my life. I receive the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. I am delivered from the spirit of fear forever in Jesus' name. Yes, you are delivered. No more fear. Who is Adora? Adora, I'm hearing Adora. Azubuike, Maria, Yesuf, Shineye, David, Bukola, Peter, Uyi, Tope, Tolu, Toba, Merit, I'm hearing Merit, Francis, Victoria, Queen, Peace, Maureen, Chizom, Neoma, I'm hearing that, Bukumi, Dokas, Ike, Ogechi, Deborah, Badmos, Augusta, Esther, Odafe, Ibrahim, if you bear any of these names, or your children, or any of your loved ones, God is coming through for you. I pray. God is intervening for you. Oh, you are going to have a major shift very soon. Yes, a shifting forward in your assignment, in your calling, in your career, and in your status. You won't miss it anymore. Yes, yes, you won't miss it. Everything. This is your moment. God is breaking and giving you a major breakthrough this season. Everyone listening, touch your navel with a finger if you can. If you cannot do that immediately now, do it later. Touch your navel and let me pray. God's power will search through your entire body system. Your internal pains and struggles are over. Be released into a more vibrant, healthy, and fulfilling life in Jesus' name. Say amen. Re- remove your hand. I prophesy a 48 hours miracle. So within the next two days, my listeners, you will welcome and receive new visitors. Yes, something new and good will happen for you. All say amen. I receive it. November 16th celebrant, your body prayers, be blessed, be lifted. You will celebrate November 16 yearly in peace, in good health, in prosperity, and in power. Happy birthday. Right? 
Listeners, get your communion element ready. We will climb us with communion today. First issue for our learning and teaching. Good morning, Daddy. On the woman whose son wants to marry a lady of 10 years older than him, I married a lady that is 10 years older than me, and our marriage is 12 years plus. The secret of our marriage is our love for God and each other. The young man should always look at the wife as a younger person and always treat her as such. Once the lady is prayerful and the guy shows love, she will definitely respect him. They are also jealous and don't want you to cheat on them based on the age difference. So it should be very loving and prayerful and God will see them through. Wow, personal experience there. Nothing is more powerful than personal experience. I like that part of your story when you said love for God and for each other is the secret. Let all of us learn from these all married people. Love for God and each other is a marriage sustainer. Next, another person. Sir, because Turning Point is a platform with a global audience, there are many practices that once we are outside the church of Nigeria, we need to apply the wisdom of God and still serve our God overseas. Many people go to work on Sunday. Moreover, here in UAE, sometimes ago, Friday was their weekend. We have to adopt Friday as our church service day, and it becomes normal. I think the message here is to observe the law of rest, at least one day in a week, rest, which can be any day. This is to encourage a member who wants to run supermarkets. Next, my big daddy. Good evening, sir. I'm a widow. I went into a relationship with another man, which I later realized was not God's will for me. So I prayed to God to put an end to relationship. Anyhow, he wants to do it. But I don't want to continue in sin again. After some months, the man died. Sir, does it mean I have hands in his death? Wow. No, I don't think so. But what you will have done was to make up your mind and walk out of the marriage. You are a widow. You did not tell us his own marriage status. Maybe he has a wife that they were separated or he abandoned or something. In that case, you should end the relationship instead of praying to God to do it any way he wants. Now your conscience is saying, maybe your prayers killed the man. No, God will not kill a person for another on a case like this. Next, sir, I would like to know if I should add my wife's name to the landed property I'm buying. My wife is late and I remarried because of my little children. Wow, I commiserate with you on your late wife's case. Yes, add her name. He is your wife now, but do your best prayerfully and in wisdom to bound her with the children that he met in your house, the children left behind. Let them live and relate as mother and children as they grow up. Next, good day, daddy. Can someone who is not married do IVF? Please enlighten us on this issue. More grace and anointing. Wow, IVF for an unmarried person? I'm not too sure whether there are no rules and regulations guiding IVF procedure. I know that for adoption, the rules and regulations are stringent. There are a lot of check and balances on the would-be parents, the environment in which the baby will grow, etc., etc. I don't know what the IVF case is. Does anyone know? Listeners, help us in this case. Is it done? And can it be done? Give us your first-hand experience. And if there are professionals on that case, please give us the benefit of your profession. Are we learning? We will build more on this tomorrow. Please rebroadcast this to all on your contact. Do so daily. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel since I start announcing? God bless you if you have. If you have not, do so now. Do so now. 
Go to your YouTube and simply type at the real Femi Emmanuel. The word real is R E A L. The real Femi Emmanuel. Type it together. Then tap on your subscribe button and turn on notification. As I see your face on my screen, I pray directly into your life. And that's spiritually powerful. Do so now. Today is a good day to remit your tithes. If you are entitled to God through the Father's soil of Turning Point Commission, do so. Your battle, your thanksgiving, your partnership commitment seed, and the seed of 11, 11, 11, we are sowing this month. And the one that I called on all business people to do yesterday, if you have not already done so. Now, if you want us to send you the commission's account for your regular tithing, and all the seed we teach, we preach and encourage, send a chat message, or please send me the commission's account to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. That line only. Let it be. Don't send money to any personal account, and don't let anybody connect to you on Facebook on our behalf. That will not be us. They are internet frosters. Block them and have nothing to do with them. Now, take the communion and let me pray over it. Communion is for dominion. Communion is for healing. Communion is for lifting. Whatever you connect the communion to, God gives you grace to have dominion there. I prophesy on this element, the broken body of Jesus Christ and the blood that was shed. Oh, the virtue, the power in the blood and in the broken body start working in you. Whatever you pray and connect it to, it shall be for you. That communion is blessed. Eat and drink and the virtue and the power in the life and blood of Jesus start working for you. Pray more on it on your own. When you are done, please eat and drink and the power of God start working for you immediately. What God cannot do does not exist. For God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a wonderful day and a beautiful weekend. Bye.